kal halalium la yahavo bahasham shal yahavo shay, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to the Mosai, which is named in the Hebrew is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly call Jehovah, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly call Jesus, Je um, Yeshua, and so forth. Um, double honesty, apostles and elders of great new stone, and salutations to the elect, and hopefully elect, as pushing the truth in the four corners of the highways and byways, and all the sincere Akim, Akwathium, children, even uh, you know, doing the most I work and watching these videos. All right, so around the world, the most I is pouring out his wrath through these natural disasters and many other ways. All right, these, is, these are just the beginning, beginning of sorrows. All right, um, just a quick review here. On the hurricane benefit concert that occurred in, uh, in November, now the most I um, you know, made, you know, now I got some free time to actually cover this because I'm sure more are to come. Um, they had one here in this land, Guyana, whereby they, they had like a soca event, all right, which you know, get into the, the depths of what soca really is, not but uh, scratching the surface, but the, the true. Um, historical background of, of these events right um, so they got Exxon Mobil you know who donated 10 million dollars because Guyana currently um, found oil so Exxon Mobil is in, in this land right now trying to get the oil so for they donated 10 million for this event there's some Edomites you know donating to Jake in these high position you know so forth uh, but this is just another money making scheme this is just an illusion to um deceive the sleep deceive jake to think that you know they're covered by the government and you know the most i dealing with these men are here in good hands and so forth and etc etc these are uh majority of these are so artists but uh these two are Cal calypso and calypso and reggae and dancehall with a little bit of it, it mixed up, there's a table of vomit, vom but it's not really the uh, article. I'm going to just gonna review this one here quick. This is after the event, scenes of hurricane relief by this uh, newspaper. Uh, Trinidadian, Soka, Stars, Orlando, Octave, Patrice Roberts, Olatunji, along with others, on Saturday night delivered a high octane of performances at the Civil Events Commission Commission's Hurricane Relief Concert at Durban Park. All right, and there's Jake, and then there's you know there's you know the big leads, the big boys, and so forth. And there's some photos. I'm not gonna play any videos because you know, wow, just be trying to make this quick and sharp. All right, it's from the Guyana Times, Guyana Government. Government launches a Grand Hurricane Relief Concert as Guyana embarks on phase two. This is the second, right? Because it seemed like they did some some hurricane relief thing before. As Guyana embarks on phase two of its relief efforts directed towards the hurricane ravaged islands across the Caribbean region, the government, in collaboration with private stakeholders, has launched a Grand Relief Concert to raise funds for the impending ventures. Right. I just uh, members of the panel, so to speak. His Minister of State, Joe Harmon, joined by Social Protection Minister Ama Ali and other officials at the launch of the Hurricane Relief Concert. All right, Durban Park has been listed the official venue for the Grand Showcase Build on November 11th. Benefit Concert will feature a number of regional and international artists. Backed by a solid line of local local artists, headlining the show will be Caribbean sensation Patrice Roberts, joined by Orlando of the best known for his soccer hit titled single. Alright. So these are uh, these these soccer artists are coming to perform what is called a bacchanal. And you know, go by many other names, fet party, whatever. But um mainly they refer to it as bacchanal. You know. They feel that by doing 
these hosting these events these benefit events and so forth they're just stuck in the illusion either deceiving the people and being deceived all right because this is what the scriptures say this is matthew 24 and 6 ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars ye see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet come for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom so now they're trying to be all chummy and come together but soon they're gonna turn on every back everyone turn on each other's back because as venezuela as venezuela are most you know attack this same nation here and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows all right this is wisdom of solomon 5 and 22 and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as out of a stone bowl and the water of the sea shall rage against them and the floods shall cruelly drown them so these things are meant to, these things are meant to happen and no benefit concerning will slow down or stop most is waiting for you to get in your comfort zone to destroy this place plain and straight all right let's go back to the article this initiative comes shortly after the civil defense commission wrapped up the phase of relief efforts which saw the shipment of 11 containers comprising of food clothing medical supplies not the essential material materials for victims hit by the string of tropical cyclones so they try to uh, you know, get these these items together and so forth well, who knows if if that's the true amount and so forth they're probably just hoarding these things so they can secure themselves you know, because they are bunkers and there is footage whereby um, in puerto rico uh, in, in the customs area the the relief items were held back you know but you know the news is not covering this so the information got out um like freelance freelance wise though um adding to that a total of 54 Guyanese were evacuated from the destruction which was left behind after five locally chartered flights were sent into the islands to rescue countrymen from the ruins not knowing that there is lights referring to them as countrymen because because we're born in this land doesn't mean that we're 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 we um we we're from or initially this is this is a part of we are israelites so-called negroes amerindians latinos hispanics native americans confusion of faces as it looks like the other nations like the so-called white race so-called chinese so-called arabs and so forth all right this is Jeremiah 51 and 6 flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance he will render unto her a recompense Babylon hath been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made the earth drunken now this is the key part here right made the earth drunken uh key part of this lesson make the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad and these events are, are truly mad you know babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed howl for her take bound for her pain this is not uh through yet but slowly this kingdom is going apart falling apart if so she if so be, be she may be healed we would have healed babylon but she is not healed forsake her let us go everyone to his own country so that's what that's what's going to happen these disasters are going to force everyone to return to the land where they were born and then you have bashim yashai is going to work as he always does for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up into the skies all right now there's uh certain programs like the harp program h a a r p that can create these kind of weather weather anomalies so to speak these these are natural disasters but at the end of the day it's still the how bashing how should i do all of this all right if you study scriptures carefully uh, this is uh let's see with that being completed the country now turns its attention to assisting 
in the recovery and restoration ventures and as such this grand gesture was birthed to generate necessary finances all right um, speaking on the launch of the hurricane relief concert with CDC preparedness and response manager Sean welcome preparedness and response manager <laughs> Um, this nation can't really cover natural disasters. Uh, and there was a 2005 flood, not even a um, major damage compared to what other nations experienced. And you know, we had to get relief from other nations and so forth. So, a major thing happened, which I'm about to show footage about that. Was yeah, what's going to happen if a major, major event, natural disaster happened in this nation? A lot of people are going to die. We the man Lord over here. We're, we're preparing in every way possible we can. Not like you know, putting up goods and so forth. We trust in trusting the Halbash and Yahusha and so forth. Speaking at the launch of the Hurricane Relief Concert with CDC preparedness and response manager Sean Welcome, who explained that explained what prompted this national collaboration. A decision was taken for us to have a second phase in regard to our relief efforts in this place intends to target the reconstruction and recognize that in order to achieve this we need an activity that will bring a sort of financial support that will allow us as a people to make a tangible donation towards effort the cdc manager of line now they claim that they're doing this but really they're doing this for themselves you know they're doing this for themselves whether you want to accept me or not these charitable events are just money, another money making scheme. Alright? How can the poor help the poor? These millionaires, the banking families, the build the burgers, the Rockefellers, the, the DuPonts and so forth. All these men could solve all these issues one check. Five hundred trillion dollars worth of these of these men on portfolio, so to speak. Alright? Let's continue on here. And welcoming the initiative Minister State of State Minister of State Joseph Harmon noted that such ventures exemplify Guyana's commitment to regional integration. Yeah, they're looking for like um, you know you scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of mentality. You know because they know they can't take a hit from a natural disaster. All right, Harmon extend an invitation to the general public to play their part in assisting their affected Caribbean neighbors by supporting the relief and um, recovery mission and so doing he replied I want to commend organize organizers of this event and I am pleased to be part of the official launching of this hurricane relief concert and uh, Minister Harmon also the national disaster coordinator <laughs> further said we are going to fill the Durban park we are going to bring people from all across the region to ensure that we get a real lively concert hmm. a real lively concert and the proceeds of the concert will reach down to the benefit of those citizens who are affected by those hurricanes now notice how we say that he's trying to get uh, bring all people from all across right which takes me to this scripture here and keep that open um it says wisdom of salt yeah, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 6. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are pressing. Let us speedily use the creatures as like in you, which goes back to this here. These are the creatures we'll be using, the jigs, who believe that they got all, all the, the, you know, the, the limelight and the fame and so forth. And using these, these, these fools to donate money by purchasing these tickets so that these can sit on stage and drink wine in front of your face and smile in front of your face all right because they're the one who is money who the money will live to as a businessman are ruthless you know they're not they don't really concern about whatever they want the ones they put in money they have to have a beneficial plan a strategy towards towards making such a contribution come on therefore let us enjoy the good things that are are present and let us speedily use a creature like as in you let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments let no flower of the spring pass by us let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered you know 
back in the Roman times wearing those uh those fig those bud crown or whatever and um like today they're crowning themselves with pride verse 9 let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness you know the fat and wealthy you know let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place for this is our portion and our lot is this they claim that they live in joy with these events and so forth but it's just destruction just destruction preparation for destruction and according to scripture this this every part of this kingdom shall fall all right let us oppress the poor righteous man let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age so they don't really care about anybody basically whether you're righteous or unrighteous basically and they want to keep you unrighteous so that they could continue doing you know try to oppress and rule the world but the most high judgment is coming soon verse 11 let our strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth by their laws right and you know us being poor and so forth they would consider it as being feeble and worth nothing so they rather step on other people in order to get on top all right so let's uh finish up here continue on that note Douglas Slater CARICOM CARICOM's assistant secretary general with, with responsibility for human development who applauded effort undertaken by Guyanese undertaken by Guyanese lending a helping hand to those affected by the hurricane strain region all right let's just jump real quick tickets to the hurricane relief concert dubbed it the biggest event of the month are tied of a thousand dollars which was like five US dollars with a pro with all proceeds to be directed towards rebuilding and rehabilitation of the current affected Caribbean nation. Among the private entities which have already thrown their support behind the initiative are BK Group Companies and Agri Parts Machinery Services at the launch of at the launch of the concert, each of these companies plugged a check worth two million, ensuring the successful event of charitable undertaking. I sure the same company of Agri Parts and so forth get a nice deal on bringing in agri parts and whatever this BK company is for doing this you know you know the the, the back the backwards are always kept under the um, under the radar all right so let's wrap up with some scriptures so this event is referred to like soka soka's um the origin of word is not you know exactly readily available but i did some research so soul represents soul and ka represents calypso so soka is like a branch from calypso initially all the uh, sexual innuendo innuendos and all the uh, perversion and all the uh, metaphorical aspects of of calypso was then sped up or speed up um and then you know, i'm just giving a rough history of um soca because not a popular genre worldwide but you know now becoming more and more prominent second timothy three and one this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful and holy Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. See, they have a form of gov um, godliness. They be praying at these events, all sort of thing. Alright? For so this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. This is a, like a twofold scripture, I guess. Um, silly women would be like false doctrine, and like the promiscuity and the adultery and the other abominable things that goes on on these events. I'll just illustrate in a few photos, in a few. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Verse 13. 
But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, and de deceiving and being deceived. They're just deceiving themselves, you know, in this wicked, wicked queendom as we refer to it. Um, to Amos. Amos chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings, your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take you away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy voice. And but let judgment run down as waters, and the righteousness as mighty stream. The most high judgment flood in this wicked ass kingdom. Alright? Bacchanalia were Roman festivals of Bacchus based on various ecstatic elements of Greek Dionysus. They seem to have been popular and well organized throughout the central and southern Italian peninsula. They were certainly they, they were almost certainly associated with Rome's native cult of Liber and probably arrived in Rome itself around 200 BC. But like all mystery religions the in, of the ancient world, very little is known of their rites. All right. Um, Livy is a uh, a Roman historian writing some 200 years after event offers a scandalized and extremely colorful account of Bacchanalia. Modern scholarship takes the skeptical approach skeptical approach to the to his allegations of frenzied rites, sexual violent initiations of both sexes, all ages and all social classes, and the cult of the murderous instrument conspiracy against the state. Levy claims that 7,000 cult leaders and followers were arrested and and that most were executed in London. The most are going to execute judgment soon. Background development. The Bacchanalia or Roman festivals of Bacchus, the Greco-Roman god of wine, freedom, intoxication, ecstasy. They were based on, on the Greek Dionysus and the Dionysian mysteries and probably arrived in Rome um, 200 BC by the Greek colonies in southern Italy from the Etria, Rome's northern neighbor. Like all mystery cults, the Bacchanalia were held in strict privacy and initiates were, were bound to secrecy with little is known of the cult and its rites derived from Greek and Roman literature plays at statuary. Let's go a little bit more. Let's go to the interpretations. Um, Levy's account of Bacchanalia has been described as ten, tendentious. I got this word right here. To say the least, tendentious would mean expressing, expressing or extending a promote, extending to promote a particular cause or point of view, especially a controversial one. Tangentious to say the least, as a political and social conservative, he had a deep mistrust of mystery religions. He right. Likewise of today, we should have discarded these wicked ass customs and probably understood any form of bacchanalia as a sign of Roman degeneracy. Let's look up the word degeneracy. Degeneracy having having the lost having lost the physical, mental and moral Qualities considering moral and desirable showing evidence of decline. The same thing going on today. Same thing going on today. Moral decline. Backs worse and worse. Uh, modern usage. In modern usage, bacchanalia can mean an, mean any in, uninhibited or drunken revelry. The bacchanalia, the bacchanal in art describes as a small group of revelers. It's the same thing they refer to themselves as revelers. All right often including satyrs and perhaps Bacchus or Silenus, usually in a landscape setting, yeah, usually feels these events are kept, or Tarma, yeah, I would know because I've been to several of them when I was wicked. The subject was popular from the Renaissance onwards, Renaissance, you know, during that time, and usually included large degree of nudity among 
the figures. So let's look at uh, some of the some of the ancient clips and then look, compare it to modern. Look at look at look at this abomination. Look all these illustrations of, of Bacchanalia. You know, God of drunken and revelry. Look at this. Look at this mess. These are these are wives of men. Dressed dressed in the, these vulgar attire. Dressed in these uh, vulgar attire, you know. Look at this. Look at this. Not a single cure in the world. Got some brothers here in Jamaica. Check them out real quick. They do the same thing back in our celebration rituals. Same thing going on as back then. Yeah. It's a fucking dude with a dress here. This dude's wearing a tutu. No. Um, this is Jeremiah 8 and 12. Were they ashamed when they had committed the abomination? Nay, they were not, not at all ashamed, but neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, saith Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. I will, I will surely consume them, saith Yahweh. There shall be no grapes of the vine. See, the Bacchanalia refers to as um, drunken revelry, revelry. No grapes on the vine, or figs on the fig tree, or and the leaf shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away. From them, because you know, Job 9 24 says, The world is given into the hand of the wicked, if not, where and who is he? And a lot of people don't know what's going on around the world, especially here in this land of Guyana. So they're hosting all these events and so forth. Meanwhile, this is going on. This weak ass seawall, Moses is going to destroy. Someone did this video here, showing that Guyana is being attacked. <laughs> that's what that's a word. Being attacked by uh by the sea. Meanwhile, our people, even though the most I deliver them from the thing, just like back then, all these reverie. You know. And with that, the whole that this was edifying. Um, just repent from from partaking these events and wake up and see that Yahweh and Hashem is about to judge this place. This land, every part of this world is going to be judged by His wrath. All right, and with that, Kala uh, Laliyam La Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Double honesty, the apostles of Elis of Great Stone, and sal salutations to the hopefully elect. Stay strong, stay focused. Shalom, Brachta.